gentlemen, World Health Day is a global health awareness day celebrated on April 7th each year. It provides us and others across the globe with an opportunity to promote awareness on different health topics. The theme for this year, as mentioned, uh, is depression, let's talk. And I think we can modify it, say depression, let's talk Fiji. Why such a theme? I'm sure you'll agree with me that depression is the leading cause of ill health and disability worldwide, and we Fijians are no exception. Depression um, can too often lead to suicide, and we know that uh, from recent events that has been happening around the country. In 2016, there were 102 suicide cases and 104 attempted suicide in Fiji. For the period of January to March this year, we have already recorded 20 suicides and 20 attempted suicides. These figures are indeed a wake-up call for us to rethink our approaches to mental health and to treat it with urgency that it deserves. Suicide is tragic, but depression is more about, is, is about much more than suicide. According to World Health Organization, more than 300 million people of all ages globally suffer from depression. And as mentioned earlier on, it affects men and women both. But the good thing is it can be treated. People with depression commonly have one or more of the following sim symptoms. Loss of energy, a change in attitude, a change in appetite, sleeping more or less, anxiety, reduced concentration, indecisiveness, restlessness, feelings of worthlessness, guilt, hopelessness, and thoughts of self-harm or suicide. As said, depression affects people of all age groups, all walks of life and background. Causes a lot of emotional distress to the person, affects their relationships with family and friends, and of course, impacts their ability to study or work or to even earn a living. Ladies and gentlemen, depression can also be characterized by persistent sadness and a loss of interest in activities that one normally enjoys, accompanied by an inability to carry out daily activities for at least two weeks. As we highlighted during the launch of the build-up to the World Health Day celebrations by the Ministry a few days ago, the biggest challenges are removing the stigma and improving understanding of depression. Despite the awareness raising, there are still many, many people out there who will not seek help due to one, fear of stigma, social stigma, lack of understanding about what depression is, how it can be prevented and treated, and because of the illness itself, people tend to become withdrawn and more isolated. WHO advises that one of the first steps to address issues around prejudice and discrimination, the continuing stigma associated with mental illness was the reason why this year's World Health Day has the theme, depression, let's talk. For someone living with depression, talking to a person they trust can be the most and the first important step towards treatment and recovery. More specifically, the Ministry of Health and Medical Services, in partnership with important stakeholders like the World Health Organization, is aiming to reach out to the community to ensure that the general public is better informed about depression, its causes and possible consequences, and what help is available for prevention and treatment, and that they are able to seek help. Ladies and gentlemen, as part of the campaign, the Ministry of Health and Medical Services, as again mentioned, has, has launched an informative and practical toolkit to better equip our health professionals to recognize, prevent, and treat depression. The toolkit can be used to inform and advocate, advocate for prevention and treatment of depression. It will be distributed to hospitals, health centers, and nursing stations throughout, throughout Fiji. There's also a second toolkit which has been created specially for teachers and education professionals in our schools and can be used to spread knowledge and understanding about depression in children and adolescents. While we don't exactly know the real causes of depression, a number of things are often linked to its development. Depression usually, usually results from a combination of recent events or other long-term or personal factors rather than one immediate issue or event. Remember, we all are different, and one must recognize the signs and symptoms and get support and help. Many people do not seek help, and we hope that through a rigorous awareness campaign and with the support of our media organizations, we will be able to break the silence, to increase public awareness on depressions, its signs and symptoms, and encourage people to seek assistance to live a happy and empowered life. 
the ministry aims to use the World Health Day to reach out to those who may be living silently or even unknowingly with depression and to let them know that they are not alone and that help is nearby. In addi addition to today's event in Suva, we are also marking World Health Day uh, in Lotoka and Lambasa. The ministry has also partnered with Youth Champs for Mental Health Awareness to target 50 schools nationwide to educate them on depression and how to access help. In addition to the 50 schools, all 90 schools across the country, uh, with the support from the Ministry of uh, Education, is organizing, I'm told, programs today to mark this very important day. A suicide prevention symposium um, was held and uh, held last week. And uh, we have four NGOs who have joined together to organize, again, as mentioned, a Zumba session to promote more youth-based mental health initiatives and interventions. For anyone who is interested in Zumba for mental health, the event will take place on Saturday, um, April 8th. That's tomorrow at the YMCA here in Suva. At home, in our schools and workplaces and throughout the communities, depression is too often swept under the carpet. I believe that time is now over and it needs to be discussed openly and freely. Statistics tells us that there will be people with us here today who may be living with depression. So what we need to do is a simple, um, a simple gesture, gesture to say that you care. Can we just turn around and ask the person next to us, are you okay? And if we can make that, I, I'm sure all of us are okay. Are we okay? Are we okay? Great. Um, and I want uh, you to make a point of asking that question to your loved ones, probably on a daily and a regular basis, to show that you care. And uh, if, if we have students around, students can ask your fellow students, colleagues. Other, um, I think we need to start with our spouses first. Eh? So please, if you have spouses here, you can ask them now, or if you go home, you're having lunch with them or, or dinner time, please just turn around and say, are you okay? Whatever you call them, you don't have to tell me that now, but turn around to your partners, your spouses, your loved ones and say, are you okay? And I think that is very important for us to, to be okay ourselves and to, know, and to know that the person we live with, the person next door to us, or the person within our workplace is, is okay. So uh, these few words, ladies and gentlemen, will probably initiate the conversation that we want. Otherwise, um, uh, the theme would not be too, too, too fitting. Eh? If we want to talk, let's start talking ourselves. And uh, a conversation that helps someone close to you who is depressed to start on a journey and seek, um, seek the care, the help, and the support that they need. So these few words can be the magical words. I know the other three words that you say are very magical, but are you okay is another magical word that could literally be a lifesaver to many around us. So ladies and gentlemen, the ministry will continue to work closely with all organizations. And if I can make a special mention of Lifeline Fiji, Youth Champs for Mental Health, Medical Services Pacific, and Power Pacific and all our other partners and stakeholders uh, in our joint endeavor to address this issue and continue to highlight the importance of people reaching out for assistance, seeking advice, and accessing counseling or other treatment that is available when the need arises. We need your support and we know your presence here this morning is a reflection of your commitment to the essential message of this year's World Health Day, depression, let's talk. With these words, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a very, very happy, happy morning and a safe weekend and a healthy and a happy life. God bless. Thank you very much.